Hi folks, welcome back to the ZF Epic 73 channel. Want to get this running on your PC? Keep watching, I'll tell you how to do it. Thanks. Welcome back to the ZF Epic 73 channel and this is a setup, a how-to for PC um, emulation. Now, if you're not familiar with this, there's a couple of things you're going to have to do uh, to get this up and running. Uh, first of all, as you can see, this is the complete front end, which includes so many emulators, um, some of which will appear on the screen now. To give you a brief description, what you first want to do is you want to go down and download Retro from band. their parent website. Uh, once you download that onto your system, you want to collect all um, your ROMs. Um, I can't tell you where to get them from, but if you Google them for whatever emulator you want, i.e. Mega Drive, Commodore Amiga, SNES, PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, search them, download them. If you want to drag all your ROMs from your folder on your PC to the Retro Bat ROMs folder, uh, unzipped, don't have them zipped because it will not recognize it uh, and then launch um, your retro back go into your input go into the settings and scroll down to input uh, if you've got a Xbox controller uh, any um, DIN input uh, um, any controller um, your Windows will recognize that as a usable uh, controller and then map your directions up, down, left and right, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, etc. Mode, select buttons, get those all redefined onto your now Xbox controllers will generally auto map uh, to mimic. But obviously, you know, you can map your shoulder buttons to however you, you see fit. Um, and then get it all installed. Just be aware that if you need to rename any of your folders to take out the region areas then by all means do that as well now though obviously you can go to quite uh, extremes to customize a retro bat so what I suggest you do is play around with the menus um, there's lots of features uh, which I'll probably go into on a more advanced version of these videos but this is a basic basic setup so again just to reiterate you're going to need to download your retro bat you're going to need a 360 controller or any PC controller um, you can even use a you can use a ps3 or ps4 controller and remap them if you so wish as long as it's a USB compliant PC uh, gamepad joystick you're fine uh, more a gamepad than a joystick I would say um, just for the button configuration um, you're going to need a selection a whole bunch of your ROMs and obviously running on a Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, or even a Windows 11 PC, um, you may need to direct, you may, you may need to di download DirectX or any version of. Um, again, your PC will prompt you to what you need when you download and install. Um, this video was uh, requested by Baz86 Gaming Channel, so a big shout out to Baz86. I'll give you a, a quick, um, rundown of what you will see so game settings you can update your game lists you can adjust your game ratio so again if you want to um pixel squares one on one six by ten six by fifteen sixteen by nine you, i normally leave everything onto automatic and let the emulator just do the rest simple as that um, again i'm not going to go into all the custom default settings right away this is for ba basic basic setup so let the emulation let the program auto config everything and if you just want to get into getting the system up and running uh, that's easy enough to do so yeah again you can mess around with controller settings sound settings game collection settings one thing i will touch base on in this video is scrape now what scrape basically means um, it's dragging all the metadata, all the box art, all the videos from uh, a required source. Now the required source is Screen Scraper. You can look them up. If you, you will need 
to get this metadata all you will need I recommend that you go and uh, register on their website free users can do up to 10,000 scrapes in one day for a registered you then get to you will then get 50,000 scrapes so a scrape is basically it will take 50,000 uh, pieces of information and put it into your menu system for you so you can see down here that I have a username and password I have registered already um, you can get a bit more information about scrape info from their website but um, if you register your 100% more successful scrape so for example if you've got 10,000 ROMs you'll get 10,000 pieces of uh, information such as fan art, videos, bo box, um, map manuals, things like that. Scraping can take a wee while depending on how large your library is. Um, just to explain what um, Retrobat is, and you can play your, your Mega Drive games on a Fusion Wega emulator, you can play your Sega Sans on your Yabuse emulator what basically retrobat does it takes all those emulation emulation programs put them puts them into one complete package along with the the beautiful graphics user displays and so all your emulators are in one in one pack easily downloadable and easily accessible and it looks great when you stream or you upload as well just touching base on the graphics user display of this you can see that it does look fantastic. You've got your Sega Genesis, Sega Mega CD, Model 2, Sega Mega Drive 32X, Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, Sinclair, PlayStation, PS2, all games. Um, something I should have said at the beginning of the video, um, in the Retrobat ROMs directory, each set of emulators goes into its own folder. So for example, Mega CD ROMs go into Mega CD folder, MAME games go into a MAME folder, and so forth. Amiga games go into Amiga um, folder, and set and so forth. Otherwise, um, Retrobat won't see them in, as individual games library. They'll be mixed together and it'll look awful and confusing. Hi folks, I want to thank you so much for watching this Retrobat how to install a PC emulator on, on your PC. Um, please like uh, and rate this video I would appreciate it if you're new to the channel and you like what you see please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button it really does help the channel grow and as for all the regulars on the channel I hope to see you very very soon on a next upload or tech tutorial or even a game stream come and say hi I really appreciate you all and I'll see you very again soon bye bye folks take care now bye bye